The process of making is the point of it. This needs to be a kind of ballet. If anybody can copy as a supposed artist, it's not art. There's no carving in wood or in stone or knots on a rug that are going to look anything near like what pleats do when they express a line. Lots of people talk about the reality of a, uh, say, an elephant in Oregon. You know, does it look real? Does it look like an elephant? But it's a piece of paper. You know, of course it can't look like an elephant. I think, at heart, one of the things that makes us human, that's both our strength and our weakness, is a need to change things. It's also the heart of the appeal of origami, exploring the, the surprising magic of just how far you can change that square only by folding. What are the limits, the physical limits, of this art form? When you put in a crease in a piece of paper, you're essentially changing the memory in that piece. Origami is just such a great way to get your hands dirty with math. You know, it becomes your laboratory for doing mathematics. Whenever there's a need in the industry to take a flat sheet and somehow make it smaller, there is a potential for origami to have an application. In science, this is the most creative you can be. We are artists, whether we do science or whether we build sculpture.